Hello and welcome to a quick video. I um, was going to do a proper play video last week. I was off work. But Wednesday was the best day for me to do it. I just was really busy. Um, so hopefully I can probably do one um, first week of August. When I've got another week off. So that's the plan for that. So I have got some other videos I want to do as well. Also I noticed... I did two videos recently about the Clint Eastwood. I mentioned that I've upgraded or replaced the um, sort of various boxes and titles I've got with the new or the, the recently fairly released, uh, released set. Um, I did say there's one thing in there that I'd also upgraded that I can't remember what it was. It was actually on the side when I was doing the video. I didn't write it until afterwards. It was the Power Rider, Unforgiven, and Outlaw, Outlaw Jersey Wales, Warner Brothers 3 uh, film set. So that was also one I'd originally got rid of because I already had those films elsewhere. But that's to my setup. I was going to say I got rid of quite a lot of Clint Eastwood, either previously, uh, through other duplicates, or with the NS set. There's one I actually got rid of as well. There's one I've got which I didn't get rid of. Uh, which is the Bridges of Madison County, which I picked up one of the last few Warner Archive titles I bought from my HD before they put the price up and put that on there. Um, so yeah, I've kept I've kept that because I'm not giving it any Warner Archive titles, even if I've got them um, elsewhere. Um, I wouldn't have bought that had I got the Clint um, Clint Eastwood set already, but I did get it before, so I'm so I'm going to keep it. Um, I don't think there's any of the ones I missed. Oh, I was going to say as well, um, I think it was the last one I did, or the, it might have been the first of the two I did. I noticed for some reason it was in um, portrait mode. I don't know how that happened. So I'm sure I shot that in landscape mode, but when I watched the video, it was in portrait mode. So that was a bit weird. But it was watchable. Just uh, perhaps where my phone was angled, it might have um, picked up as portrait. But I wasn't going to reshoot the thing because I already uploaded it and, you know, I'm not going to remember everything I mentioned in that video. So it's just easier to leave it as it was. Uh, but what I want to do in this video, so it's going to be a quick video, although two and a half minutes in. So I mentioned in other videos that I've got these Argus bookcases. Uh, primarily because I've got a radiator there and I can't really go any higher because it's piped through as well. Uh, the Ikea ones, which I do normally use, are about 30 centimetres tall on these, and this one's suitable. And I mentioned with these as well, you don't have the ability to buy extra shelves for these, unfortunately. You can get things made and things, but, you know, I'd rather have the proper ones. Um, so I'm thinking, what do I do? And I had an idea, was to buy one of these bookcases um, they come with five shelves obviously one would normally be fixed um, I presume it's the middle one so it's all screwed in at the side um, so it doesn't have the although it probably would actually fit on there because not like the Ikea ones where it indents and rests on something and so I basically use three of the shelves but I had a look at these the other day actually thinking okay if I want to put an extra shelf in here what can I do? And the problem with these is the holes aren't um, similar places to the IKEA ones, so you can't really put your shelves in. So I mean, I technically I could move that up one, and I'd probably be okay just for height. I'm gonna move that up one, but then this shelf's fixed, and I can't move it up, so I can't really get an extra shelf. In there, all I've done is make that shelf it's like less space there, less space there, and I've got no space there to put extra shelf in. I mean, I could in theory perhaps put one there, but then you see, I, I don't really have the height of that shelf there to put well DVDs there, but I think Blu rays would, would be a tight fit as well. Uh, let's have a look. So, yeah, so I couldn't really um, 
gain any benefits. I mean, I could probably have an extra shelf there, but then I've got a small, I've got a small shelf like that, and I can't do much with it. I mean, I could probably put some figures in there, but it's not really worth it. I don't want to start drilling holes because they're shorter shelves as well. They're not as tall. You don't have the same leeway with space overall. Um, and again, I probably could create an extra shelf of the bomb. Um, see, I could, I could move that shelf up, but it's not really the space to do that because with the hole there, see the holes there, the whole shelf there, that would not fit on there. Um, so my plan was stuff to get in the bookcase and use shelves, but there's no way I can get extra shelves in these, unfortunately. I've, you know, yeah, some stuff down there, but um, yeah, so it's not really ideal, unfortunately. But it is quite useful in a way because I have been able to think like the what's left of my 12 inch vinyls down there, and I've got films in there, but I've got one stacked up. It's not really best use space on that shelf, and that shelf I've got folds and sort of larger sets, um, which don't fit anywhere else. Like I've got a Manson box at there, but yeah, unfortunately, I can't really do much with that. And I'm sorry, I can't really um, replace this with anything um, because I don't have the height. I mean, I'd probably get away with a few centimetres at the top, but that's not going to work for any use. Um, and you can't really get any shelf height extenders either, although, again, Again, probably wouldn't work if they did those anyway, because um, it'd be too close to the radio to there. Um, so yeah, these aren't really the best shelf in terms of what you can do with them, but it was sort of work with the space I've got. And while well, three shelves isn't a huge amount of space to gain, it's still got a decent amount in terms of what I can put on them. But, um, as I say, kind of stuck here with this, so I think I'll have to leave this as they are. Um, not say I won't come up with an idea in the future, but, yeah, for the moment, these are good bookcases, or stairs they are. So I just wanted to do a quick video about that, just to... Because sort of, something I thought about doing recently. I did some measuring the other day and realised that it wasn't suitable. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. So I've got plenty of videos I want to do as well as the update. So there'll be short videos, long videos. I don't know yet. But yeah, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.